Prime Minister orders to get prepared for LDC challenges. BNP yet to clear stance on India boycott agenda. Intern doctors withdraw strike. And doctor units supporting genocide taking award from Israeli sculpture. Those were the headlines. This is 18 News. Good evening, viewers. This is Salim Kadir. You're watching English Bulletin. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has directed the people concerned to take adequate preparations for taking up the challenges after elevation from LDC in 2026. She gave the directives at the meeting of the Executive Committee of the National Economy Council on Thursday. She also asked the people concerned to finish the ongoing project soon. The ECNEC meeting presided over by its chairperson, Prime Minister Shikasina, at NEC conference room approved 10 projects at an estimated cost of Taka 8,425 crore 52 lakh. Of the total amount of money, Taka 7,939 crore 87 lakh will come from the government fund and Dhaka 544, 54 crore, 64 lakh will come as project loan. BNP leader Rahul Kabir Rizvi is in limelight after making a call to boycott Indian products through burning his shawl in the recent times. Leaders of the ruling party have stormed criticism over the issue. After coming to Dhaka from Singapore, on completion of his treatment, BNP Secretary General Mirza Fakhrul Islam Alamgir addressed a rally in capital's Nayapolton where he made several anti-India remarks but did not directly call for boycotting Indian products. However, there were banners in the background calling for boycotting Indian products. The leaders of BNP have termed Rizri's burning of Shah as his personal issue they have not said anything whether BNP will start anti-India movement. They however said they want to intensify the movement against Awami League's subservient policy. Begum Khalid Azia is now fighting for her life. She is the first victim of the persecution of the ruling regime. BNP Secretary General Mirza Fakhrul Islam Aramgir made the allegation at an event at BNP Chairperson's Goshen office on Thursday afternoon. Mirza Fakhrul said there is no alternative to united resistance to free the nation from the clutches of Awami League. The ruling regime has established a ring of fear and terror all over the country. They are now in power using the electoral system as a weapon. The BNP leader announced to ensure victory by defeating the government through people's movement. Intern doctors have withdrawn their work abstention on assurance from the health minister to increase the salary and remuneration. The leaders of postgraduate training and intern doctors made the announcement on Thursday afternoon after a meeting with the health minister Dr. Shamantolal Sen. The minister said it will take one month time to settle the issue. However, remuneration of 12 closed institutes will be enforced and all errors will be paid off before Eid. The postgraduate trainee and intern doctors have been observing work abstention on third point demand for last five days. Dr. Yunus has kept mum about the genocide in Palestine. Is rather supporting genocide, taking award from an Israeli sculpture. Foreign Minister Dr. Hassan Mahmoud made the remark while talking to the journalists on the recent issues at the Secretariat on Thursday. He said the rescue process of Bangladeshi ship MV Abdullah from the hands of Somalia's pirates has progressed well. There will be no crisis of food, 
and water in the ship, he assured. Dr. Hassan Mahmoud said BGP has protested killing of two Bangladeshis on Indian border and a flag meeting has taken place in this regard. We now follow up with a short break and we will be back soon with Fire hazards now a name of panic for city residents. Killing of two Palestinians and bulldozing bodies sparks condemnation. Welcome back. You're watching 80 News. This is Salim Kadir with English Bulletin. After a devastating fire incident in capital's Bailey Road, fire hazards, one after the another, are haunting the city residents. Soon after the blaze in Bailey Road, there had been blaze in Ghazipur, Old Dhaka, Koral Slum and several other places. Sometimes fire hazard is being originated from gas explosion and sometimes it happens due to electrical short circuit or malfunctioning of electrical equipment. When asked about the reason of such blazes, one after another, a senior fire service official told ATN News most of the fire incidents are taking place during the time of Sehri. Although Raju conducted several drives in the capital after Bailey Road incident, one of the Raju officials said it is not possible for Raju to look into the fire safety issue of the buildings. We now begin with news from around the world. Storm of condemnation arose against Israel after killing two unarmed Palestinians and burying them with bulldozers in Gaza. Almost 160 Palestinians were killed and 195 injured between Monday to Wednesday. Exclusive broadcast footage recently showed Israeli shooting killed two unarmed Palestinians as they walked in an open area along Gaza coast, although one of them repeatedly waving what appeared to be a white towel. Israeli soldiers burying bodies with bulldozer. US-based civil rights and advocacy group Council on American Islamic Relations said Israel appears to kill Palestinians on a whim and then treat bodies of its victims like trash. This genocide must be stopped, not excused or supported with weapons and rhetoric. It called for UN investigation into the heinous war crime. Meanwhile, UN's OCHA said two-thirds of Gaza's 36 hospitals are non-functional. Those that remain open are either minimal or partially functional. Stabbing rampage across multiple areas in Rockford, Illinois, U.S. has left four people dead and seven others injured. One is critically injured among them. Three people died at the scenes. The third died at a hospital. A man reportedly went on stabbing rampage Wednesday across multiple locations in northern Illinois community. Rockford Police Chief Carla Red said the suspect 22-year-old man is in police custody and was being questioned. She said Rockford Police Department's dispatch center received medical help call Wednesday followed by additional calls for police. Police then responded to multiple addresses in the area of Home Street, Winnicotta Drive and Cleveland Avenue. County officials received a report of a home invasion at an address on Florence and Eagleston. Police urged residents to look at cameras and doorbells for footage related to incidents and to submit tips to police or anonymously through Rockford Area Crime Stoppers. We now begin with Spot News.
Rajasthan Royals will face Delhi Capitals in IPL today. The match will start at 8 p.m. Bangladesh time. Delhi is looking for the first win of the tournament after losing to Punjab Kings. On the other hand, Rajasthan aims to maintain the winning streak at home. A win against Lucknow in the first match has given confidence to Sanju Sammon's team. Meanwhile, Delhi captain Rijba could not facilitate the comeback match. Therefore, this match expects big score from his bat. In the 27 meetings between the two teams, Delhi has won 13 times, while Rajasthan have won 14 times. Though both teams will want to win the toss and chase runs in Jaipur, as most of the matches in this field are won by the team chasing runs. Before ending the bulletin, the top series once again. Prime Minister orders to get prepared for LDC challenges. BNP yet to clear stands on India boycott agenda. Intern doctors withdraw strike. Dr. Yunus supporting genocide taking award from Israeli sculpture. Fire hazards now a name of panic for city residents. Killing of two Palestinians and bulldozing bodies sparks condemnation. That's all from the newsroom for the moment. Thank you for being with us. Until then, see you soon.